Welcome back to Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. This video is brought to you by O'Neill, and this is likely not going to be the news that you want to hear. Tuesday morning, just four days before the opening action is set to begin, we finally have some info on how those around the world are going to be able to watch the World Supercross Championship in Wales this weekend. If you want to watch highlights after the race, hype packages as well as behind the scenes footage all of that will be available on wsx.tv provided that you create an account to access all of the freemium content as they say but if you want to watch the race live it gets a little trickier if you live in austria belgium brazil canada china the czech republic denmark finland france greece india indonesia israel italy latvia malaysia mina the Netherlands, Norway, New Zealand, Poland, Portugal, South Korea, Sweden, Switzerland, or Turkey. It's super easy. Just head over to WSX.TV and purchase the single race or championship pass for a live broadcast of the action as it unfolds on race day. Notably missing from this list, of course, are Australia, Germany, Japan, Spain, the UK, where the race is being held, and of course, the United States. Pretty much all of the major markets and the ones that are most interested in this series as a whole. Forgive my ignorance when it comes to some of these non-American channels and streaming options as I can't exactly try them out for myself. But it looks like all of the major markets have been partnered with a single service for the live race with differing options for watching a taped version. Australia is partnered with streaming service 7 Plus. Germany, Japan, and Spain require an active subscription with Dazen, which appears to specialize in fighting content and runs $19.99 monthly here in the US. In the UK, you will need to head over to the BT Sport, which looks to run you 25 pounds for a monthly subscription. But the biggest market, of course, is the US, and I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is you can watch the race entirely free if you have a cable package that includes Fox Sports 1, but if you don't have an active cable subscription, there is no real way to watch the event live and uncut. You would instead be forced to pay $6.99 just to watch the replay a full 24 hours after the race on WSX.TV. Now, I do have a small workaround for that. You can actually watch one hour of live and uncut footage as a preview through the FS1 website, but I wouldn't recommend trying that until day of, lest you accidentally start your timer early, so I would wait until the weekend to even go over there and check that out. Of course, the internet will do no doubt have bootleg options available that I won't actively promote in this video for obvious reasons, but this just isn't a great start for the two round series. I get that this is a bit of a first world problem as an American that has had very simple and easy access to the biggest Supercross series for decades while the rest of the world has had limited options, but no one can deny that the American audience is a huge market and leaving them out in the cold here with little notice definitely sucks. It's great that those that still subscribe to the cable format can watch the race live, but with cord cutting increasingly popular and many watching on desktops and tablets, it just leaves a lot to be desired. I for one am left without any option to watch it live in the US without paying an astronomical amount for a cable package that I don't want and won't use outside of the two races or finding a more illicit way to watch it on my own. It'd be different if we were still living in maybe like 2012 where everything wasn't being live tweeted all the time, but we are all so plugged into social media in 2022. It would be impossible for me, even if I don't go looking for the results, for me not to find them ahead of time. So no way could I t possibly justify spending $7 to watch a replay of a race when I'm already very likely going to know the results. Join the conversation. Let me know what your options are to watch the race this weekend. Are you going to be paying to watch it live? Are you going to be paying to watch a replay? Or are you just going to catch some highlight replays on social media after the fact? And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to Rotomoto for more breaking news and analysis like this. The number one way to get more eyes on the channel is to tell the platform that this video was a good one. Thanks as always for watching Rotomoto. My name is Donnie. Keep it pinned to the weekend.